Yeah, it was on rise. It is from Archer. And this is a quick little video. Um, I've literally only just got home, that's why I've still got this on. And it's quarter to 11 at night. Um, so I've kind of just uh, jumped on it quickly. Um, I'm sure every Charlton fan's aware right now. Dean Holden uh, and the rest of his backroom staff have been sacked uh, around two, two, three hours ago. Obviously, it came out of nowhere uh, this morning. And I think some fans were speculating it after yesterday's result where he just walked down the tunnel. Um, and, he, and he obviously never does that. So, yeah. Um, obviously, there's... Do I think it's the right choice? No. Um, we're only five games in, obviously, including the cup game. Um, and I just don't think it was the right time. We've got, what, four or five days left of the season uh, window, and we haven't got the right players in. We've got Jason Pierce, who I hope does well in his interim role. But obviously, there's names floating about Darren Moore, Chris Wilder. Lee Johnson, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a sticky situation because um, now we're just looking for another manager, which is annoying because we can't keep sacking managers every six, seven months or anything like that because it's just going to change the thing. And then whoever this new manager is, who's going to come in, he's going to have to hold in players who probably won't know how to work with them means we get a whole new system, whole new formation, whole new thing and it's just going to be an absolute shit show, quite my language. <laughs> um, yeah, it just feels like it's, it's going to have been around in the circle for god knows how many years now or how long and it's just not going to stop until we get the backing the manager needs, decent money, ownership. I saw a tweet saying that the holding got sacked over text message, which isn't really that amazing. Um, because obviously, if you think back to Garney, he got sacked over Zoom apparently, and now holding over a text message. So it's a bit uh, annoying. Very interesting, that's for sure. Um, but I guess as a Charlton fan, we're kind of used to um, the controversy, I guess. But as I said on Josh's live, John Chronicles, I'll leave a link down below. Um, I would have given them until November, December time. If the results had stayed the same, then I would have got rid, maybe. Um, but right now, it's not, it ain't the time. We're so early on in the season still. Um, and yeah, it's, it's just an absolute crazy night, because obviously... <laughs> I've literally just got her from Jot Women, um, and that's all positive. <laughs> um, but the, yeah, it's a bit crazy. Um, I just thought I'd jump on and say my opinions, I guess. Uh, obviously, I won't say to too much because you don't want to get any uh, bangs on the head on you. But yeah, it's a bit of an interesting situation. Um, obviously, we've got four days left in the window, which is not very uh, great if you ask me because we're, we're probably going to get some frees or some loans or some players who no one really wants so it's going to be a whole different whole crazy little thing in the next few days weeks months as a charm fan but i suppose we're kind of used to it over the last nine ten years wherever because we had roland then matt southall then all that esi stuff um and now Mefton uh, and then obviously Sangard and now Mefton and whoever else is in charge um so yeah if it, it, hopefully we get something sorted um I very much doubt it'll be before the window closes um I can see Percy being in charge for about a week or two maybe maybe a little bit more obviously if he does well then then that would we'll probably appoint him as manager um, so we'll see what happens but yeah, I just thought I'd jump on 
give my opinion, comment down below what you guys think, and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. And just to add, I'm going to leave the live stream with me, Josh, Tyler, and Nick down below. Tyler will be available next week. Um, so make sure you go watch that. Also, we are closing in on 700 subscribers, so if you fancy hitting that little subscribe button, the little red button, and be my guest. Because um, we are on 6th, 7th grade moment, which is class. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, guys.